Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be a magazine flip through. I am super excited to do this because whenever I bought this, I was so excited just because of all of the adorable projects that are on the back of this, which I think is what's actually in the magazine. Yeah, um, man, they are cute. So this is what we have today. It is Annie's quick and easy crochet to go. Look at that afghan. Is that not adorable? So, okay, so stay focused, stay focused. Okay, so I would refer to that as not an afghan, but a bedspread because you wouldn't cover up with that. You would put that over the top of your bed just because it's pretty, right? Am I wrong or is that is that right? Because that's what I would call that was a, is a bedspread. Anyway, look at what's on the back. I'm just gonna scan it real slow so you can see. There are some adorable projects in here. That lampshade, oh, that is so stinking cute to me. And the hanger, the frog hanger, is that not gonna wanna get kids to start hanging their clothes up? Okay, let's see. Oh, so the first pattern is pin cushion, pin cushion cupid doll. Uh, and then the bedroom decor. So I'm assuming that's like the lampshade and the um, the little doily thing. Here you can see it up close. I bet that lampshade, you could make that to fit almost any lampshade. Hmm. Maybe that's the next thing I'm going to have to start looking for. <laughs> a cheap or a free lamp with, you know, a, as long as it has a lampshade, that's all I care about. I may have to look through Marketplace and see if I can't find like a cheap or a free lamp. So it's really cute. I like the, I like the cutie doll. Oh, so I ate breakfast a little bit ago and dang. So here we have a simply simple afghan. This is, um, it looks like it's just blocks and then like a granny square block and then the granny square shell, like the three double crochet around it. If I was to make this, I would call this the granny on granny. And then look how cute these little pins are. I don't know why that picture looks so blurry. And then this one. Cute. Now I like this. I think this is one, I think it's unique. And then two, I think it's another way to add a little extra um, crochet decor to your home. Now, like right now, I'm sitting in a, a glider rocker, but downstairs, my head itches right there. Downstairs in my girls' room, I have an old rocking chair that was, I think it was my grandma's. And um, I, I've got carpet in my house besides the kitchen. But this, if you had a hardwood floor and you had a rocking chair, that would be awesome. So that, like when you rocked and it hit the hardwood floor, it wouldn't make a sound, which I don't mind the sound it would make, but it's still just another added way to add some crochet de decoration to your house. They're called rock rocking chair booties. I like the one with the flowers. So we have an ad, God, these ads get me in trouble because I see something 
So, um, before I show you guys this, my husband and I love quilts. My husband has several quilts from his grandparent, uh, grandma's. And then I have, my grandma was a quilter when I was growing up. She hand quilted. Like she had the huge spread out and would sit there and poke in and out, in and out. And then me and my sister would be underneath her poking back up. <laughs> anyway, so one of my favorite quilts and his is the red wedding ring quilt. It's very, very pretty. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you can Google what a wedding ring quilt looks like and it'll show you a picture. But look at this. Those are crocheted. Look at that. That is very pretty. Annie's favorite Afghans. I'm gonna have to write this down because I want to find this. Annie's favorite Afghans. It's in that book. I want that. Subscribe and hit your notifications to turn them on so you can see any of my upcoming videos because you never know I may <laughs> I may have that. <laughs> Anyway, so we have Granny's favorite doily. Cute. Okay, I'm going to let you guys know I am a huge dingbat. In my house, we could, <laughs> it was like, you are a, do a goober, honey. And I always tell him, I know. I know. I'm not the brightest crayon in the box. <laughs> so, for example... In the picture that I'm getting ready to show you, the one I just showed you, I thought the little ceramic thing was a cake. <laughs> I thought that was a cake until I looked at it on camera and I'm like, you dingbat, that is not a cake. <laughs> it's a pretty doily though. Um, little side story, I, it kind of follows along with me being a doofus. Um, <laughs> My husband is a member of the Moose Club, or Moose, whatever it is, uh, the Moose. Um, we went to over to Indiana and kind of did a little running around, and on our way back, we went through a town called Olney. And as we're coming through town, my husband's like, I wonder if they have a moose. And I'm sitting in the passenger seat, and I'm all reclined back, and I'm just enjoying the sunshine that's beating on me through the windshield. I'm just staring off into space, and he was like, do you think they have a moose, honey? And I was like, how am I supposed to know if they have a pet moose? Why would they have a pet moose? And I was like, never mind. Oh my God. <laughs> I was like, I am a doofus. I don't know, honey. I will, I will Google it for you. They don't. <laughs> I just said, and even he was like, he just looked at me and shook his head like, oh my gosh. I was like, I am so sorry. <laughs> okay, so we had, <laughs> I'm sorry. The next thing we have is a little Christmas, what are these? It just says Christmas kitchen. Oh, okay. They're pot holders. Those are cute. If you can hear that little bumping and thumping around, my cats are under my bed and I've got all kinds of stuff in down underneath there and they're, I, they never get underneath there. So I don't know why they're down there today, but anyway, here is the bedspread on the front. Now they do call it an Afghan. Anyway, it's called the fluted flowers. Is that not beautiful? There, you can see the flower. I can see this done in all red flowers. That would be with a whiter, not whiter, whiter, like the color white. Um, with a whiter background 
all red, that would be very pretty. And then still the same white on the background and then different shades of purple, like where these dark flowers are, a dark purple, and then where these light ones are, like a, like a light, light lilac color. That would be very pretty. I love this. I think that is stunning. I wish I had more time and more hands. Aw, here we have little baby booties. There's two of them. One of them I'm not not that fond of. I don't like the shape of it at all, but the other one is pretty cute. This is the one I'm not, I don't like the shape of. I don't like booties that start here and then work that way. I don't like what it leaves right here. It's kind of odd looking to me. And then, I think that's cute. It almost looks like a little granny square, like the beginning of a granny square in the center. Adorable. This next thing makes me really want to make a wreath. Every, all these magazines that I go through, every time I see a wreath, I always think those are so pretty. And if I made one, I'd want it to be with like cats, a wreath with cats around it. Cause, and then hang it on my bedroom door. But this, Look at that one. So like, I'm, I'm not a fan of the swan. Wait, is that what it is? Yeah. I'm not a fan of the swan, but I would take the swan off and then put some, some kind of a cat there. Or little cats around it, playing with yarn balls all over. That'd be so freaking cute. But anyway, let us move on. Here's the little frog hanger. Sorry, I didn't mean to get quiet, but I was looking at it and I was thinking, you know, I don't know if you would still put clothes over that or if you just use it as some kind of a decoration. Just to hang on the wall because it's adorable. Or maybe hang something from it. Or, like, um, like if you like when you walk into your house, if you had, you know, some kind of a door hanger or, you know, what are those... One of those things where you just like, it's a, um, spit it out. <laughs> it's uh, like the, uh, it's a place to hang coats, you know, or hats or keys or whatever next to your door. And like kids hang their book bags there and you can hang, you can hang the hanger on that. And then the kids can hang the book bag from the hanger. That would be cute. Clear as mud, right? <laughs> Okay, look at these little baskets. I like the the design. I'm not a huge fan of the colors. I almost I was just wondering if this is the kind of pattern where they carry the yarn throughout it kind of like um the other thing i don't know what it's called right now i would get annoyed with it especially if it's just for a basket i'd be like oh, let's do something else this is cute and i so i have a pattern or a, not a pattern but a a uh, a bag on my channel here on my channel that's similar to this and i never thought of how they make this little cross stitch on the seams I never thought of doing that. It's like, how genius is that? <laughs> it's like, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> I wish I could think of things like that. And the colors. I love the colors together on this. So, like, I'm instantly thinking, like, Red Heart. It'd be, like, a, a navy. And then this is, like, an Aaron. And then this is, like, the buff. And there you go. You can make that bag. I do. I love the colors of that bag. Anyway. Now we have a lacy scarf ring. Oh. This is just a little ring to... You know what? Now that I think about it, I think I have one of these. Not, not crocheted, but a scarf ring. And I did not know that that's what it was. But I don't remember where I put it. 
I thought I had it hanging, but I, I don't see it, so maybe I don't. Anyway, but uh, it ha it's circle like this, and then it has a bar in the back, and I thought it was for a shawl, which, I mean, I guess it could be, but I never knew that's what it, it was, a scarf ring. Dang it, that bugs me that I can't find it right now. Let me pause this, because I've got some stuff hanging, and I know I have one. Just a minute. Okay, so here's one of them. Um, this isn't actually the one I was looking for. I forgot I had this one. But yeah, I had no idea that's for a scarf. <laughs> now I know. Excuse me. There's that. And then here we have... This is cute. Um, a bit much for a for a bookmark, but I like it. See the round apple and then the long chain. I wouldn't want that at the top of my book. I'd, I'd get annoyed with it, but I like it. And then we have a yarn basket where they're showing some stuff. I'm not 100% sure, but I see something that I kind of makes me want to talk about some. Um, so there's this picture. See her So I want to talk about something, that pillow, a pillow like that. I, man, what did I see? There was something on Facebook, I think, where people were talking about that. Or it was an ad for a pillow like that. And I remember seeing it and I was like, I don't understand what the hype is for a pillow like that to crochet with. Because when I'm crocheting, like, you know, I'm like this, crocheting, like pretend I'm going to... You know, I'm like this. So my arms are like this, crocheting. Go If I had them propped up, I'd be annoyed because I'd have to adjust what I'm used to, right? So I thought, well, I'll just try it. Let me get a pillow. So I grabbed a pillow. And this is just off my bed. Regular pillow is what I grabbed. So I grabbed the pillow and I set it down like this. And I was crocheting and I'm like, genius absolute genius this is so much nicer <laughs> so I stole my husband's pillow and I laid it out and I wallered it down like that and I just sat here and started crocheting and I was like this is so much more comfortable I never would have even imagined uh, of course I'm not gonna go buy a pillow for that when I you know my husband's pillow works perfect <laughs> when he doesn't know <laughs> But yeah, so just try it. You may not like it, and I'm not saying everybody is, but I was shocked how much she was like, that is so comfy. I never even thought of it. Here, okay, love, you guys are going to laugh, but I have a rocking recliner, and then my husband has um, a reclining, like the two reclining couch, one on each end. He sleeps on, like he'll recline his in, and he'll sleep there because he's got a bad back. And then I'll be in my recliner, so he'll be asleep or watching TV or doing whatever, and then this is me as I'm crocheting. So I'll be sitting like this and I'll be rocking like this and just crochet and crochet and crochet. Or I'll look up and I'll stop and then just kind of go like this and watch something on TV and then I'll get back to work and I get in, I get in a rhythm to where my body is rocking my chair and I am crocheting and just, you know, working along. And he, li he thinks it's so funny because the whole time I'm like, I'm rocking. <laughs> Like, if I was sitting still, cross-leg, like, that's what I'm doing now, if you can't you can't really see it, but sitting, you know, cross-leg in my chair, but if I was on the floor, I would sit on the floor, and I would rock back and forth like this, because it's like, it puts me in a rhythm, like, my mind just goes, you know, and I'm focused on this, so when I do that, rocking helps me do it, and I will constantly, that's bugging me, I will constantly rock back and forth, back and forth, even my husband's like, would you stop? <laughs> like, I can't. <clears throat> not like it's a it's annoying him or anything like that it's just if certain circumstances he's like honey quit <laughs> anyway so that's my magazine for today um i think this is adorable so okay that's it guys i was gonna say something else but i don't think i'm going to i'm gonna pass um Thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't so you don't miss what's next. And 
turn on those notifications because I want you to get notified if I put a video out because you never know what I'm going to have. It's always something crazy or boring. <laughs> and you may find that I may have that Annie's Afghan. I will be looking that up. Some people on eBay sell crochet things for pretty cheap, and then sometimes you can get on Etsy and they'll, they're selling the same thing, but a digital format only, so you can just print it, staple it, and you got the pattern. I don't like doing that because by the time I print it, what I've spent in ink and paper, you could have just bought the pattern, the book. But anyway, check out my upcoming videos. You might see that. Okay, I'm going to get out of here. Thank you guys for watching. I won't go through my whole spiel again. I think I already did. Anyway, you guys are the greatest. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.